Yo, what is going on guys, your boy Sister here, bring guys day two of how to make a white banner. And uh, day two, like I, I said before, is the CC setup and uh, the CC itself, or the render setup and the CC itself. And uh, today, this is the CC we're going to be like, recreating. Uh, this is one of my, you know, original CCs from my white style back in the day. So you can see what it kind of like changed a lot, and it kind of made the render so much nice and cleaner. So let me show you guys how to do this with a little bit of explaining of what the CC stuff does. And, uh, you know... It's just really focused. You can see the, the setup really, really quick. So if you don't want to watch the whole entire video, here's their setup that I did. Uh, but if you want to watch what I also do with the insides of it and stuff like that and the opacity changes, uh, just stay tuned. And here we go. So I'm just going to delete this. And we're going to go to our folder to make a new folder. I'm just going to name it Day 2 White CC. Boom. So we're going to get nice and quickly started. So the first thing I want to do is, well, the first thing I want to say is you want to think when you're doing CCs is not to change the stock's like the image of the stocks because you know stocks you have to worry about too the render it's going to look the cc might look good on the render but when the stocks come in they might just be so distorted because there's so many curves and stuff like that so let me show you guys a little bit of, like an alternate is uh kind of using the same like trying to trying to do the same effect with like different other stuff so you're going to see me like doing like photo filter and then curves or and then like solid you know color if you're saying you know you can just use solid color or just lower or put the the curve more up you don't want to like change the stock so i'm thinking ahead and you know, showing you guys how to like, like go around stocks and not changing them so much so they look so disgusting when you put them in like banners and stuff like that. So let's get going. And now that I have that done and you know said, so now you guys won't be like, eh, what the hell? So what we're gonna do now is the first thing I'm gonna do is use a hue and saturation. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna change my hue to about 20 or mm, yeah, 15. And I'm gonna change my saturation to about 15 also. And I'm gonna change my lightness right away to about six. Uh, right away, you're gonna see like a little bit of a change. Uh, where the color common pops just a little bit more to like the normal eye, you probably can't see it on like the, the screen that you're watching on uh, because it's not the, the highest quality resolution or whatever. But right when you get to your thing, you can see that the color will you know come out a little bit, and uh, you know the light lightness right away you can see also changes and kind of like cleans up you know, all the dirtiness of the you know the render. You can see how the white looks like a little bit dirty when you put that on, kind of looks more clean. And uh, we're just gonna continue now. So after the hue and saturation, I'm gonna use a gradient map which I'm gonna put these in description down below to download so you can have all of these that I have the presetted ones I'm not sure if everyone comes with these I don't even know how I even got these but I'll give them to you and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my green uh, why I'm using green is green is like ooh, not this green I want to use this one uh, a gray to green or a green to gray press ok and the reason why I'm using green and I'm using these just to have like a, a warm feel like blue and green are two colors that kinda of like correspond with CC's a lot because it has like a really warm feel to it so that's why I use them. You don't have to use them, or you can skip this step like automatically. It really doesn't matter. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is gonna go, uh, go to the gradient map, click on this, and click on soft light. And what this is just gonna do, I'm just gonna lower the opacity about 15, and I'm gonna lower my fill to about 35. And uh, to the normal, like I said, probably on the resolution, you can't really see the difference. But if I uncheck and check, you can see it kind of like cleans it up just a little bit. And uh, the the color is like a little bit more green, more like not green. It's like a little bit more warm. I should say warm. Like warm, I mean like kind of like takes the color and kind of like dulls it a little bit without like dulling the color like I don't know if, how to say it but it's a really nice effect I'm just gonna keep on going so what I'm gonna do is use a curve I'm gonna go to curves and I'm just gonna change the curve middle I'm just gonna take the middle of it right here and just drag it up just a tiny bit so my input is basically at you know 120 and my output is at 130 and I'm just gonna exit out of that right away because you know it's just kind of like bringing the filter and kind of like clean everything up and then like brighten everything up also which is kind of like a big thing with white CC's so next, I'm going to use Vibrance, which is going to bring our color out. So if I go to bright, uh, Vibrance, I'm just going to change my Vibrance right away to about 25, and my Saturation to about 5. And uh, probably right away, you can see how the color is kind of like more, you know, how dull it is right now. And, you know, if I click on it, it kind of like brightens just a little bit more now. Uh, so next, we're going to use a Photo Filter, like I was talking about before. Uh, if we go to Photo Filter, what this basically is, is like a filter where it kind of like takes the color that you choose, or a warm filter, which I'm clicking on. Uh, we're not going to use color because, you know, it's basically the same thing, but I like to, like I said, I like a warm filter. Uh, so now, just right away, you, you just exit out, and you go to here, and go to screen, and go to uh, opacity, and go to about 20, and change the filter to about 45. Uh, what this did, right away, you can see, kind of, like, brings, like, more of it out, the color, along with, like, trying to, like, brighten the CC itself, or brighten the render itself. Uh, so now what we're going to do is, we're going to do, like, uh, a gradient map, so just kind of, like, change our color around, and basically do more and you can see more of the change right away right now so if I'm gonna to go to here I'm gonna to go to gradient map I'm going to go to here and I'm gonna use our blue I'm gonna use this blue right here you can copy the same one I'm using 
And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go to here and I'm gonna go to hue. Now what this will do is uh, you know some people say you know you want to have color in your you know your render you want to have your color in your banner I mean the same color because the stocks not all the stocks are the same color you know unless you're using like grunge and grunge only but uh, you want to have like a stock or you want to have a CC that has like a, a main color stock like a blue like I have here as the hue you can see how like you see a little bit more of the purple so kind of like ruins the effect that I had the purple and the blue and green but you want to have you know right here you know one solid color you can also put multiple colors I'll show you how to do that in a second uh, you know just if you don't want to just have it blue but uh, yeah like you want to have it filter at one color just so you know when it puts stocks in it doesn't mess everything up so yeah we're gonna keep that a hue now we're gonna just do another gradient map and we're gonna go back to the blue and this is what's gonna give that like really cool little feel so I'm gonna go to here I'm gonna go to overlay and you can see right away the overlay kinda like you know changes it all to blue so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do opacity I'm gonna change this 25 and about 35 what this will do and maybe I have to put the opacity up just a little bit maybe 35 and 35 for both kind of gives it that blue tint looks really really nice you can see and uh, so that's that but like I told you before if you want to do a, a multicolor CC all you gotta do is make a new layer right click on the new layer click uh, right clipping or uh, create clipping mask and uh, what you do is just take the color leads the second color you want just take your brush and then just basically go over your render as simple as that to so just make double colors and you can see like the blue the, the darker blue and the, the lighter blue is there if you want to use like red I can show you what red uh, here it is, but you know if, if it's too much, like you got to make sure you do it right. You know you don't want to like put it in like random spots. You just make sure you want to put it in the right spots. But if you don't want it so like noticeable as this, you just put this on overlay. And what this will do is kind of like clean it up just a little bit. It kind of like blend in so much. You can see right away the change is kind of see the red a little bit more. So yeah, that's how you do that. And uh, I'll probably finish it off with that in a second. But after the gradient maps and you're done with your little you know flirting with your gradient maps, you want to go back to your vibrance. And we're going to change our vibrance to about 40 right now and our saturation to about 10. And what that will do is basically put out color and just bring it out so much more now. Uh, you can see right away the dull kind of looks still, still a little bit dull. Uh, not that dull though because we had a vibrance already. And if I put another one on, you can see the color is just out a bunch. And uh, basically we're almost done. All we got to do is add like another solid color. If, if you hear my dog barking, I'm sorry. My dumbass dog. But <laughs> when you have your color filter, I'm just going to change it to white and press OK. And you change your like your setting th your settings to screen, and you go to your opacity and change it to about 10 or you know 15 doesn't matter. And then you just change your filter down to about you know 45 or 35 I'll say. And what that'll do is just basically like put in like another curve on without messing with the stocks. It's just not messing with the stocks right now. That's what I was talking about before in the beginning. And you can see right away that's how that's gonna be. I'm probably gonna like put the opacity up of that like nice blue, just a little bit more maybe like 45. And so still can have that nice color. I like yeah I like that. There we go. So, like I said, I'll just finish it off with a second color. So, I just press clipping mask, go to here. I want to finish it off with like a green brush. And boom, let's finish this off. It might look really weird with this green, to be honest. I'm going to put this on overlay. Oops. Boom. Okay, so I like that a little bit. I don't like it too much. I don't really like double colors, anyways. I just want, yeah, there we go. That'll work. So, basically, that's it. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna put the CC in the download description for you guys to like refer also if you guys didn't just watch the whole entire video. So uh, yeah, here's the CC guys. You can see the changes. Boom, 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 boom. So hopefully you guys enjoy. And uh, oh wait, I got the render set up. So I'm gonna press Control J on the render. Uh, that does duplicates the render. I almost totally forgot. My bad guys. And I'm just gonna add two cool things that makes it look really really nice. So I made a duplicate of the render with Control J. You don't ever want to put the filter on the, the original render because you want to actually load the opacity because you don't want to have the filter like bombarding the render itself. So what I'm gonna do is go to Filter Gallery on my duplicated render. I'm gonna go to Glowing Edges and I'm gonna change these settings to 111.4. You press OK and then you go to uh, Normal and just press it to Screen and you just go to your opacity and just lower the opacity to about 30 or 35 or maybe even less now 25. And you can see right away what it did. It kind of like basically burned out the color a little bit more, kind of like bold it out. And I made it look really nice, to be honest, too. I'm going to lower this to about 75, maybe a little bit, too. And there we go. It just kind of like cleans out the render, like even more, and kind of like, you know, makes it look really nice, to be honest. And I'm Control E to do uh, to merge them both. And I'm just going to press Control J again to duplicate them. I'm going to distort displace. I'm just going to use the displacement effect. You, saw, you guys saw this on my tutorial that I did. So if you guys don't want, you know, want to see what more what it did, you know, you can go to that tutorial. I'm just going to erase around and kind of like find like little nice cool things. Uh, maybe you have like a little bit more cool or better things. You can see how that kind of looks right here. That looks really cool to be honest. I don't want to erase too much of that. 
and then you know here, 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 and here, and just racing. And there we go, maybe. And yeah, so I don't really like that as much. Okay, so that'll work. There it goes. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So that's basically my render setup, and I just you know finish it off with Control E merging everything. And uh, so yeah, now we're done, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy day two and day three. Tomorrow is actually gonna put this render and the CC inside a, a banner, and then we're gonna actually you know actually do the the banner now. And you know, so you guys just see it in the lead up. So hopefully you guys enjoy day two, and you guys enjoy day three, and you guys also enjoy day one. Let's get like 50 likes on this. We hit like 70 likes on the first day on the first like on the first one, which is really insane. Like I don't know what the hell. That's awesome to be honest, all the support. So hopefully you guys enjoy. And you guys also enjoy this little CC giveaway here. And I'll see you guys later. So switch out. Peace.